what's good? I'm back again with another video and today I'm going to share with you guys how I edit my Instagram photos. Now, this video was not particularly requested, but a lot of you guys have been commenting on my Instagram photos asking how I edit photos, like what um, filters I use, what apps I use, and today I'm just going to share how to do that. Look how my screen is moving like that. That is so cool. Okay, but anyway, um, so, so I have four photos right here. Um, I have, these are like four of the basic type of photos that I post on my Instagram. So I have a selfie, I have a, um, like an outfit post, I guess, I have food, and then I have like an environment shot right here. So I'm just going to cycle through each photo and show you guys how I edit each one. So I'm going to start with this selfie first. So, um, the first thing that I do is I go into ViscoCam. Okay. So the filter that I use for almost all of my photos is A6, it's this one right here. Um, however, as you can see on this photo, and I never um, apply it plus 12 by the way, I usually go like all the way down here, but anyway, as I was saying, you see how this filter kind of like removes color from my lips? Well, I want the color of my lips to still be there, so I'm going to not use this filter, and instead, I'm going to go into an app called Darkroom, which is this one right here. So I'm going to take this photo, and um, this app is really cool because it gives you like a lot of um, color editing options. Like it has like a selective color, which is very similar to Photoshop. So that's why I like using this app, especially for correcting skin tones, um, because sometimes when you apply filters on photos on selfies. Um, it messes up with your skin tone, and here I can, you know, adjust, like, um, the orange and the red of my skin tone. But, we're not gonna deal with that right now. I'm going to choose a filter. So, um, I just kind of cycle through. This one looks really nice. Uh, this one actually, no, that one's too dull. This one I really like. I kind of like this one as well. But yeah, so basically I like, I'm in between this one and this one. I'm going to go for this one and then I'm going to like tone it down a little bit, maybe like halfway. Like so, so you can see the before and the after just looks a little bit better. Yeah, so that looks fabulous to me. I'm actually going to turn out the contrast a little bit more so that the shadows are darker because I like having some shadows in my photos. Maybe I'll turn down the temperature. Yeah, there we go. That looks a little bit better. Yeah, so once I make those, oh, maybe I'll like turn up the sharpness a little bit as well. Yes. Okay, so that's pretty much it for like the basic filter selection, like color selection that I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and export that. And I always save as a copy. I never modify original just in case. Um, and then I'm going to go into an app called Snapseed. If you look on my Instagram, you will notice that the background of all my photos are desaturated or they look kind of gray. And that was done on purpose. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, I like the focus of the photo to be the subject, obviously. So whether it's me, whether it's the food, whether it is um, another person, like whatever it is, I want that to be I want the subject to be the focus of the photo, so I don't like the color of the clothes in the background here, and I also don't like the yellow tones um, of the walls and the ceiling, so I'm just going to remove all of that. So I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to click the brush tool. And then I'm going to go here on the right to saturation, and I'm going to turn, with on the little arrows down here, I'm going to turn this all the way down to negative 10, and then I'm literally just going to start drawing on the photo and just going around and this is going to desaturate everything that comes in contact with this brush. So that looks pretty good, but then you will notice that I've desaturated some parts of me and that's not cute. I don't want to look ashy. so. I'm going to go back down to these arrows, I'm going to hit twice up to eraser, and I'm just going to erase 
the parts that got desaturated. Um, like around here. Uh, some of my glasses because I want these glasses to be gold because that's what they are. So I'm just going to erase some of that. And I'm actually going to desaturate right here by my hair because I can see some yellow undertones. And this looks pretty good to me. Now, um, sometimes with selfies, um, one side will look better than the other, so I kind of go here to rotate. Oh no, that's not what I want. Bring that back down to zero. So yeah, I will flip it and see which side I feel looks better. Um, I kind of like the way this side looks better, so I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And that's pretty much it. That's how I edit my selfies. Now, um, in certain cases, I will like go into Facetune and edit anything if it needs to be edited. But since the lighting in this room was pretty good, I don't really feel like I need to blur any shadows or anything because the lighting was pretty even in this room. Um, also, I don't really feel like I need to like darken my eyebrows or um, sharpen my eyes or anything. I like honestly, the lighting in this room was just perfect the way it was, so I didn't really need to do that. However, on Instagram, okay, so for example, this photo right here, I definitely used the blur tool to soften out the shadows because there was, um, because all of the light was coming from the left side of the photograph, um, it created some like really harsh shadows on my face and it just looked really weird so I went in Facetune to like um, kind of soften them out a bit and then I also sharpened my eyes. Um, so that was for that photo but for this one it doesn't really need anything so I would literally just post it like this. So the next photo that I'm going to edit, let's go for the outfit photo. So just bring that into Viscar Cam. Again, I would usually use, I almost always use the A6 filter, but since this is like more of a summery photo, I kind of want to go for something a little bit more warm and that complements like um, my skin tone and like the greens of this outfit a little bit more. So I'm going to choose between one of these. I think I'm going to go for this one. And I'm going to tone it down a little bit because this is just too obnoxious. So I'm going to go down to like maybe like right here to 6.1. Yeah, that look. That look good. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to crop it immediately because this part of the picture is like really awkward. So I'm just going to crop it like right here-ish, I guess. And I'm going to save that. Okay, and then I'm going to go into Snapseed, and I'm literally going to do the same thing with the background. I'm going to go down to that pen tool, going to go to brush, go down to saturation, cycle that down to negative 10, and I'm literally just going to remove all of that orange from the background. Now, alternatively, you can also use the selective tool. But the thing is that since the background is very similar to my skin tone, it's going to also grab my skin tone and make it, um, and desaturate it as well. And I don't want that. I only want the background, so I am going to do it manually. And again, don't be afraid to like get on the edges of your subject because you can always erase it later. And then I'm just gonna go in with my eraser and kind of like perfect the edges a little bit. Or not a little bit, a lot of it. So yeah, this looks pretty good to me. So that's the before, that's the after. Um, 
yeah, some guy, some of you guys might like the background, but just to make my Instagram look a little bit more co cohesive, I just like to desaturate the background so it just looks better all together. Okay, and next I'm going to edit this food photo. So, let's go over here to A6, and I think that looks pretty good right here at like 5.0. I think that looks really good, so I'm going to save that. And then again, I'm going to go back to Snapseed. Okay, and now I'm going to just do that entire thing over again. My technique is pretty much the same every single time I find a filter that I, I like. It's usually A6, and then I desaturate the background in Snapseed. And if I need to um, fix the skin tone at all, I will go in with um, Dark Room to kind of fix the skin tone a little bit. And I just realized I missed an entire part of this photo right here. So let me go ahead and fix that. Okay. Okay, this could be better, but for the sake of this um, video, I'm just going to save this. <laughs> okay, and the last Fortar that I'm going to be editing for you guys is this environmental shot. So I'm going to go to A6 like this once again. Kind of choose the intensity of this filter that I want. I kind of like it right here. Yeah, it kind of um, softens the greens a little bit so it's not as obnoxious, I suppose. So I'm going to save that. Actually, you know what, I'm actually, I don't like to have too many yellow tones in my photos, so I try to make them as, um, as cool as possible without it looking, like, filtered, you know what I mean? Yeah, so as, as you can see, this goes, like, green, and this goes, like, um, magenta, I suppose, so I like to go a little bit more on the magenta side, personally, so I'm going to save that. Now, here's where it gets tricky, because there is really no focus of this photo because it's an environmental shot, here's what I'll do. So you see how the white um, of this Isabelle Marant building is like kind of yellow toned? Well, I'm going to go to this selective tool. I'm going to tap on this like off-white color and then I'm going to drag down to saturation right here and I'm going to swipe all the way left to desaturate and kind of remove some of that yellow. And if you kind of like pinch your screen it'll get bigger and bigger so it'll remove like basically all the yellow from the photo. So as you can see, that's the before, and that's the after, and I just personally think that this looks better, it looks cleaner, and yeah, and then I'm going to rotate it because it's a little bit, it's a little bit off. <laughs> I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do like that, maybe? Yeah, that looks better. That's before, and that's after. So I'm gonna save that. Now to plan my feed, because I like them, I like it to look cohesive. I don't like to put too many selfies right next to each other or too many food photos right next to each other and um, things like that. So I use an app called Unum. It's basically like an Instagram photo or Instagram feed um, planner. And so as you can see here, um, the last photo that I posted is this photo of me and this Xiaolong Bao. 
at Ding Taifang. <laughs> and um, so these photos all right here are next in the queue. These aren't necessarily what I want to be posting next, but those are photos that I eventually want to post. So, so you can just add your photos and then you can literally drag them and drop them to see like what looks better where, what photo, what, what photo you think that you should post first. Like for example, if I posted um, both of these photos, it would look weird because it's basically the same photo on top of each other, you know what I mean? So um, this is just a really good app to plan how your feed is going to look so that it looks more cohesive and it's not like all over the place. So personally, if I was doing this right now, I would put this here. Um, I would probably, yeah, the environmental shot is good there. I would put this here probably. Um, yeah, honestly, this like right here, all of this looks pretty good to me. I would post it like this, but I've already posted these three photos, so I'm going to remove that. Those were just for tutorial sake. And also, you can see what it looks like if you delete a photo. So let's say I wanted to delete this photo of my Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. So I would tap on that photo. There's a little icon at the bottom, which is an eye with like a cross through it. So you just tap that and you just tap on the photos that you want to hide. You know what I'm saying? So you can see if your feed would look better if you deleted a photo or whatever. And another cool thing that I like about this app is that you can actually see what your feed would look like if you add photos at different times. I don't know if this is making sense. But basically, so the last photo that I posted is that one with where I'm doing the peace sign. So if I tap on this little arrow icon at the bottom right here on the bottom left, it will actually push it down. And then so I can see what my feed would look like with the next three photos on top of it. Or if I push it again, I can see what it would look like if just one photo was next. If I push it again, it can, I can see what it would look like if two photos were posted next to each other. So um, that's what I really like about this app, and I just wanted to plug that in a little bit. <laughs> But yeah, that's basically how I plan and edit my Instagram photos. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave any questions in the comment section down below. And make sure that you follow me on Instagram because I am doing a giveaway at 30k. By the time this video gets posted, I may have already hit it. So make sure that you check on Instagram to see um, the giveaway post so that you can enter to win a lot of skincare and makeup goodies. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If this video helped you in any way, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys next time.